Is this something that you often find yourself doing in Power Query? Just loads and loads of replace value steps. Well, I'm going to show you how you can do this through a table rather than individual steps. We're going to do this in a couple of ways. My name is David Ryan, and I have tons of videos on my channel about Excel, Power BI, Google Sheets, Zoom, Teams, Word, Outlook. If you're using tech at the workplace, then I'm covering it on my channel. So subscribe if you want weekly videos on this kind of stuff. And I do a lot of focus on the brand new stuff. I love new stuff. So we're first going to do it where you're replacing the whole thing. And then we're going to do it where you're replacing part of it. So where you're replacing the whole thing, what you should do is just essentially create a table that has whatever you want and then what you're going to replace it with and then use a merge query. That solution needs no code. Um, I'll even show you how to do that, even how to create your own table. So you can right click on this one and choose reference. And then over here, I'm going to right click on this and remove other columns. And I'm going to remove duplicates. So I'm left just with these ones. Um, now I can do add column and column from examples. Column from examples is a great trick to just create your own custom column where it's not possible otherwise in Excel. So let's say I want to keep the analysis one. I'm going to change tool to data inputs. I'm going to change function to formulas. Uh, then it goes with that as null. That's fine. Um, I can call this renamed and then press OK. Now, there will maybe be a lot of them with null because you might have lots of them that you want to keep as they are. That's OK. Um, you can then filter it and remove empty. Then once you have this, um, you can't merge it when it's dependent on the other query. So you do need to copy entire table and then go here and go to enter data and paste it there. And then here we're going to call it merged. So once it's like that, then you can go into the start data, which is the one that we're editing. And we're going to choose in the home tab, we're going to choose merge queries. And I'm going to choose merge. This is the one I just made and click on type, click on type there. Then press OK, keep all the default settings left outer as well. I have another video where I talk about the different kinds of mergers as well. That's definitely worth knowing. So then you expand, you click on rename there and you get it here. And then finally, we need to account for the stuff that we didn't rename. So in order to do that, go to add column and conditional column. And we're going to say if renamed equals null, then return select column. And we're going to return the type. Otherwise, we're going to return select column and renamed. And we're going to call this uh, feature type like that. So there we go. We've done it. That's our no code solution for doing it this way. Uh, if you want to do it for the task one, you need a little bit of code to do that. But let's go through how to do that as well. So here I made the from and to table. So I want to change validation, which is misspelled, to this one, which is spelled correctly, table to range, et cetera, et cetera. Notice I have uppercase and lowercase sometimes, and that is really important for this sort of thing. So I've just created this using an enter data. If I click back there, I can see how it is. And the change type is something that Power Query does automatically unless you disable it. So once you get this flowing like this, we do need one line of custom code here and another couple later. So here I'm going to go to add column and I'm going to choose custom column. It's probably the easiest type of custom code you can get. I'm going to leave that as custom. It's not important. I'm going to open a curly bracket, double click here, press a comma, double click two, and then close my curly bracket and press OK. And this has created a list of lists like that. So in each one, there's a list of the pairs of the from and to. Um, and then I'm going to make the whole thing into just this list. So I'm going to right click and remove all the columns. And I'm going to go to the transform tab and convert to list. Now this has changed icon and it's just showing me a list of lists with from and to. For good practice, it's good to rename these steps, especially if they are with custom code so you understand what it's doing. So right click it and rename. So just do added. So this is just that, which means we can reference it as just a list. Next, we're going to go back to our start data here. And we're going to then create 
a list of all the words for each cell. And then what it's going to do is iterate whether any of these words match the replacement words. So over here, I'm going to click it and I'm going to choose a split column by delimiter. This is not for the process, but I just want to show you what this is doing. So press OK, and then this has now split into one column for each one. We have lots and lots of them here. But this is not what we want to do. What we want to do is create this kind of environment where there is a list for every row in the data and lots of things in the list, one per word. So there I had my change type. It does that automatically. If I go to my split column by delimiter, this is what it looks like. So it uses the table.split column function, and then it's saying, well, I'm splitting it with this space. So speech marks, space, speech marks is how Excel and Power Query refers to a space. So I'm going to exit that and exit that, and then I'm going to right cl click on this column, go to add column, and then choose custom column again. I'm going to do another function called text.split. So not table.split, text.split. Annoyingly, it does this sometimes. So remove if there's the word text two times. And you have to get your casing right. If this is a lowercase t or a lowercase s, it will not work. So I'm going to open my bracket. And then it's got text as text. So what is the text that I want to split? And what is the separator? So I'm going to click, double click on task, press a comma. And then separator, as we saw earlier, is speech marks, space speech marks and close my brackets, and this is going to be my custom code. And my new column name is going to be task by words. And here I have a list. So if I click on each list, I can see create a map chart of province and shops. <laughs> so each of these is a full sentence, and it looks like that. So next, we're going to replace these with the list that we did in partial replacement. So I'm going to go to the add column and custom column again. I'm going to choose equals text dot combine and open my brackets. And then I'm going to say list dot replace matching items. So when you see up here, you can press tab or double click it. But notice it sometimes does this annoyingly. So you have to delete that. And then you need to open your brackets. And then it's list as list and comma replacements as list. <laughs> Not the most useful description but essentially just follow what I'm doing. So I have my task by words, so that is a list. And then what do I want to replace it by? I want to replace it by this query. So I'm going to here say partial replacement. If you see this icon, that means that is the name of a query. So press tab and then close your brackets. And then you get back here. I'm going to close my brackets immediately again and we'll see what happens. So here, it's kind of done that. You see that validation is spelled correctly. However, there are no spaces, as you'll notice straight away. So I'm going to click back here to edit it. And over here, I'm going to press a comma to go to the second input from the text.combine function. And it's a separator. So like before, we wanted to say space, but start and end with speech marks. And let's give it a name. So let's say task. Press OK, and then we get the task description there. So next thing you'd want to do is clean it up, remove all the extra columns that you had. But in this case, let's just keep the from and to. So I'm going to keep task and hold down control and keep task description and remove other columns just so we can see them side by side. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see all of it there. So from blue table did replace to purple table and then here we have validation that got renamed correctly. Between was removed. 1 Jan 2017 was replaced with 1st January 2017. Two different replacements there. But notice that 31 DEC DEC got replaced with 31 December. So it, it doesn't always work, as we'll see. Using VLOOKUP got replaced to using the VLOOKUP function, but VLOOKUP in this second one didn't get replaced. Now, uh, there are some rules about when this works and when it doesn't work. And if I go back here, you'll see why. So let's go to the first custom that I added and let's identify it, task list by words. So let me click on this one. And then here I can see blue 
with open speech marks blue, that is the name of the word as far as Power Query is concerned. So although the word blue should change to purple, that doesn't happen if this is the word, the one that includes an open bracket. Similarly, with VLOOKUP and comma, and also similarly here with 31. 31 and 1 are not the same. So how can we mitigate those kind of things? I mean, we could do things like add 31 as another option, but other ideas that we could do um, kind of break the rules because we can use replace values to fix these things. But over here, I can go to an earlier step and I can say on this one, kind of replace values and replace a comma with space, comma, and then OK. <laughs> I know that kind of breaks the rules a bit. And here we have, and here you can see it has worked. So using VLOOKUP space, comma, replaced with using the VLOOKUP com function space, comma. Next, we want to kind of amend it. And we also want to fix these double spaces. So you can do these with replace values as well. And you can say space, space with space. And you can also say space, comma, with just comma, like that. And then you can get it to work. The other thing that definitely won't work with this method, and there are more elaborate methods that provide solutions like this, you can find them on various websites, is when you want to replace from multiple words, but not the entire cell, to one or multiple words as well. So this can replace from single word to multiple words, but it can't replace from multiple words to single word or to multiple words as well. But I find this technique pretty useful, so I thought I'd share it. <laughs> if you like this video, then my name is David Benayim, and I have tons of videos on my channel about Excel, Power BI, Google Sheets, PowerPoint, Zoom, Teams. If you're using Tech of the Workplace, then I'm covering it on my channel. And I love to do weekly videos on the new stuff as well when it gets released. So if you like that kind of stuff, you'll see that popping up on my channel. Um, this video wasn't the new stuff, but I do like this method, so I thought I'd share it. Thanks for watching.